Good morning, everyone. Thanks for attending. My name is Mike Reed. I'm a BI consultant at Pragmatic Works. Today's uh, topic, uh, applying big data analytics to business decisions, we'll talk about questions you can ask, um, how to support those questions. Um, we'll walk through some scenarios using Excel and and Azure, the Azure data mining, uh, I'm sorry, machine learning uh, utility. Uh, really interesting stuff and then we'll do a quick recap on on uh, what we talked about and what we think we can do and and potentially how to set out about implementing a, a, a solution so let's get started so what questions can we ask um, truly you can ask pretty much anything you want but what questions would be typical so you know the easy ones to answer are you know, forecasting, you know, sales, forecasting some, you know, linear, um, maybe I need to explain something here. So there's a couple of, a uh, uh, couple of data science terms, if you will. There's, there's uh, uh, linear variables and there's discrete variables, you know, much like, you know, your functions and your SQL Server functions, discrete indicates that, that there are, uh, there's some limited set and, Continuous would imply that you're looking at a time series, or you're looking at uh, age. You know where it's well, in theory that stops at 100 and something, but there's it can be any value in between. So there's a, a theoretical infinite uh, number of values in between. So depends again on on what you're trying to do. So forecasting usually um, whether it's you know sales or um, Number of employees, or or you know, number of stars in the universe, whatever, um, usually refers to some sort of uh, uh, continuous variable as the as the predictor. Um, you could be looking for sequences. You could be looking at you know how how does how is somebody using my website? Um, this is one I've talked to people about quite some time, and you know, don't see analyzed all that well. Um, you can get a little bit of this information from like Google Analytics, but not a lot. You can't really see the path that somebody took to get to a page, and more importantly, you don't always get to see what's called a conversion. Um, did the viewer actually take the intended uh, uh, action, whether it's you know going to another page or clicking on this you know this ad to buy something? You know, was there a did, did they do what you need to do? Uh, what you wanted them to do, um, analyzing uh, you know uh, machine data, looking for um, sequences of events that predict a or that indicate. It's not really when you're analyzing; it's really past tense. It's indicating a failure, and then using the model you've built to to look for those patterns and predict a failure in the future. Um, Looking at uh, health practices or healthcare, you could um, what happens to you know when to, what's what's satisfaction with you know patients when they when they show up, um, what makes for a happy patient, what makes for a good visit, what makes for a an effective visit, um, and what as or more importantly makes for a bad one. Uh, very frequently, you know, we've all heard about market basket analysis. Um, you know, what did people buy? What do they have in their in their you know basket, or what? You know, and that leads to a recommendation engine saying, well, if they have these two in their basket, you know, based on based on past behavior, and this is kind of interesting. I'll go off topic a tiny bit, but um, I was looking at something recently and saw that looking at uh, um, Amazon and Walmart and you know all the the companies with a with a big retail presence. Um, none of their recommendations um, are based on predictions. They're actually all based on past behaviors. So it's they only have to they, they've taken an element a giant element of uncertainty out actually by just saying well so many people did this and there's a high probability of this and. And the more we know about the person that's actually doing the clicking or purchasing, um, the more certain we can be that they're going to take this next step. And so we'll recommend these other uh, these other items. And it doesn't 
again, have to be a shopping cart. It could be anything with a similar behavior. Um, we could be looking for, you know, I want to see, um, I want to understand who my who my uh, who my customers are and what makes them up and and you know what demographics maybe um, we'll take a case of uh, you even using the the simple AdventureWorks bike data you know bike buyer um, sample data if you take a if you take your sales information that this person bought a bike and you link that back to demographics about this person and you link that to some geography information and then adds in some uh, uh, data information you can you can reasonably well predict what your sales would be or what your what what you might want to market um, when and to who and where you know literally across the planet it's it's so there's a, there's there's a lot you can ask of your data. Um, the big deal, and on to the next slide is really what your data supports, and that's very often between that and talent is is the most limiting of the factors. So um, patterns you're typically looking at, you know, almost almost anything can be evaluated for a pattern. The issue is that you may or may not have your data may not be disparate enough. There may not be enough of a change in the patterns for um, for some utilities. I've experienced this in Excel once in a while to actually be able to detect a pattern. It may come back and say, "Well, you know, they all look so similar that that uh, you know we can't really predict it." There are other tools. And I'll show you this here in a little bit. Um, like I, I did the same analysis using um, the R programming language, and it came back, and I can actually see the uh, the relationships of the clusters, and they do exist, but they do demonstrate that there's really not a lot of separation between them. So the the, the uh, analysis may be may not be worthwhile. You're, that that says the confidence in your in the separation is fairly low, and be trying to make any uh, take any action on that uh, would incur substantial risk. Um, 